If you've written a book in the past, you probably realize that a $10 book sale does not equate $10 in profits. And that is because it takes a lot of different components to get to that end sale. So for example, if you're selling a $10 book, uh, you have to first go through the creation stage. Then you also go through uh, the marketing stage or bringing awareness to your book. And then also the distribution stage to the point where it actually gets delivered into the hands of your uh, buyers or your customers. Now in between those stages, you also have little sub stages and it takes a lot of these little components and things to get to that end sale. Now, because you have all these little sub steps and stages to get to that final sale and get that book into the hands of uh, your readers, uh, it becomes very costly and expensive because each one of those steps costs money. Uh, it's for this reason that I always tell some of the people that I uh, coach in business or uh, just when I discuss business concepts that you really need to multiply times 10 what you're looking to get in order to get to your sale price. So for example, if you're looking to make $1 from your book, you need to multiply that times 10 and then sell it for $10 because out of that $10 uh, sale price or purchase price, you're only going to put $1 back into your bank account. So if we break this down and we look at it into a book, let's just go through it on a step-by-step -step basis. So $1 uh, from your $10 may actually go to proofing, having someone to professionally proofread your book and make sure there's no uh, grammar or spelling errors or at least make it much more clean. Another dollar of that may go to designing the cover. If you're not a great designer, you may need to spend a dollar of that $10 uh, sale price to go to uh, designing that cover by a professional designer, a graphic designer, or whomever. Another dollar may go to some of the equipment that you use, such as uh, a laptop, a computer, it could be a speaking software, it could be writing software. Uh, so it could be uh, different kinds of software and equipment uh, in order for you to you know, create your book. Another dollar may go to uh, printing the book, another one may go to shipping that book. Another dollar may go to marketing, another one to fix up and tweak your website or maybe designing uh, a nice 3D version of your book. And finally, you also have possibly an accountant or an assistant to help you out with uh, dealing with customer orders or fulfilling things, uh, depending on how you structure your business. Now you may not have all of these things in place or all of these expenses, but you can see that these things do add up. So from every single book sale that you uh, generate and create, uh, a portion of that is going to have to go back uh, in order to pay those expenses because obviously a cover to design a book cover may cost you $200 or $300 or $500. Proofing your book, again, it's going to vary depending on the book, but it's not a $1 thing. It's going to add up. And as we start adding all these things up, you can see that from that $10 book price, if we add all these expenses, really you may only get back $1 in profits that actually go back into your bank account. So it's for this reason that I always say that you need to multiply what you want your final profit to be to at least five, seven, or 10 times the amount uh, in order to create your final purchase price or the price of your product. Uh, because there's going to be all these additional expenses. If you take the famous Apple company um, and look at the iPad product line, uh, their manufacturing cost is anywhere between $250 and $380, depending on the model that you're looking to purchase. However, the sale price or the purchase price for that product is about three to four times that value. Because again, you have to take into account the marketing expenses, uh, the employment, the uh, website, the, all the things that go along with that to present that product to the end user and the customer. There's all these additional expenses that go with creating and developing a product. So when you're looking to choose a price for your book, you have to take these things into account that all these little things that you have to do throughout the process to get to the final sale do cost money and it does become expensive and what you actually end up taking home or what goes in your bank account is a very small fraction to the actual sale price or purchase price of your book. 
So always take these things into consideration. Of course, it's going to depend on what your goals are with the book. So if your goal is just to spread your name around and get bring awareness, then uh, you may just want to make it as cheap and cost effective as possible. But if you're actually looking to generate a profit or revenue, you have to take these other expenses into account uh, when looking at your final end result. Thanks for watching this video and if you found this video helpful and you want to continue learning with me, just click one of the thumbnails below and you'll just continue watching some more free great video trainings. And if you'd like to know exactly when these videos are released and just get some tips and insights from my newsletter, then click this link right up here and when you get there, enter your name and email address and you'll get notified when I release new goodies as well as some discounts to some of my products. Thanks for joining me and remember to do what you love, contribute to others, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.